Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy Crooks the Great, back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 5 video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about why UFC 5 could be the best UFC game that EA Sports has ever made. And I'm gonna be giving you guys some examples as to why I am saying that. But before we even get started, shout out to the homie Marshall Mind and the EA developers for the deep dive that we had with the gameplay trailer yesterday absolutely fucking great man these guys hit really hit the nail on the head for a lot of the people in the community um i know for myself i've seen a lot of people being like okay you know what maybe this isn't as bad of a game as i thought it was gonna be you know uh, i feel like martial mind hit a lot of the talking points around ufc5 and really was able to touch on a lot of the issues that i heard a lot of people in the community making and being concerned about with UFC 5. So shout out to them before we even get the video started. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the first thing that I have for you guys here. And that is um, the striking aspect. The defensive tools that you're going to have in UFC 5. Now, I heard a lot with the with the video that I made previous to my last one about you know why people should kind of just tone down the negativity on UFC 5. And one of the things was being, hey, it looks like a carbon copy of UFC 4. But with this gameplay trailer deep dive that Marshall did, he touched on a lot of the defensive measures that you're going to be able to have in UFC 5 that you didn't have in UFC 4. And I feel like that's going to change a meta, the meta of the game. Um, as I've played along in, in UFC 4 for the last three years, the meta we all know is, hey, I'm going to chase you down, try to block break you. And then try to get you out of there by just having so many health events that you just can't come back. But in UFC 5, that is no longer going to be a thing, ladies and gentlemen. As long as, you know, there's the skill gap is close. If Obviously, if it's a newer player going up against a pro player, there's a high chance, you know, you're going to get finished. But it's not going to be just chasing people down and just um, block breaking them anymore. You're going to have a lot more defensive tools. Uh as well as the new damage system that we're going to touch on as well in a later point in the video. But let's go ahead and, and I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. So right here, we'll let Marshall talk about it. And then I'll break down of how important and how this is how important this is going to play. These factors are going to play and how it's going to shape really the meta of the game. So let's do it. Truly delivers an authentic mixed martial arts experience. But... It also adds another layer to gameplay. Being defensively sound has never been more important. And because of this, there has been some significant enhancements to the core defensive tools in the game. Footwork, blocking, head movement, and lunges have all received significant upgrades, resulting in a substantial improvement in their reliability for defensive maneuvers. Now, this is an area that a lot of players definitely complained about in UFC 4, right? Like pressure is too strong, we block did. breaking is too strong, being defensively sound in UFC 4 is not as easy as it's supposed to be. And don't get me wrong, in UFC 5, when you run into a player that knows exactly what they're doing, you can definitely still get run down with strikes. But as we start talking about these new defensive tools in UFC 5 and how they've been upgraded, how they've been buffed, once you master these and once you start using using them as intended, you're going to notice you'll have a lot more success in UFC 5 than you did in UFC 4 when it comes to dealing with pressure and just overall aggression. All right. Now, before we get into anything else, that really is going to shape the meta of the game. So he touched on, hey, you know, a lot of people were complaining about UFC 4 being just chased down, you know, just getting hit with the jabs getting your block broken because I've touched on it uh, as well as some other content creators have touched on it. The jab straight damage on the block was way too much and it made the block break, the ability to block break a lot easier than it really should have been. But in UFC 5, it really doesn't seem like you're going to be able to do that. You're going to be able to be a little more defensively sound. Um, you're not just going to be getting chased down. You're going to have to, somebody is going to have to apply what I like to call tactical pressure. Instead of just bull forward, I'm going to be in your face and break your block type of pressure. You know what I mean? And that's really a beautiful thing to see. It's really going to show, allow people to showcase their IQ 
And that's really what a lot of us, I feel like, in the community have been asking for. We want people to have to beat us in a smart way, to outthink us. At least for me, that's what I want. I want somebody to have to, hey, you know what? I have to outthink crooks every single time I play them. I'm not just going to be walking forward, popping jabs into my block and pressuring them or trying to block break them. And then, you know, he's going to have to deal with that regardless of it. I want somebody to have to use their IQ to beat me. And that's what's going to be present in UFC 5. And honestly, it's a beautiful thing. It's going to allow newer players to really be in fights. But as well as if you're a smart player, you're going to be able to beat a majority of your opponents. So that's something that I really, really did appreciate that they did for UFC 5, as well as something that I'm looking forward to in UFC 5 as well. Now, the second thing that I did want to touch on as to why UFC 5 could be the best game that EA Sports has made in terms of the franchise is going to be the damage system. Let me pull up the video right here as I'm talking to you guys. The damage system is going to be so crazy this year that I feel like it's it's really it's really kind of being underestimated in a way and and really not talked about as much as it really should be because it's really going to play a really like it's really going to play a big part in every single fight you do because if you're taking a lot of damage there's a threat of the doctor stoppage now right it's going to affect your blocking so obviously if you get cut uh marshall mine i'm trying to find the clip here i don't know if he talked about it before this or what oh yeah it's right here it's right here sorry guys i'm trying to pull this up as i'm talking to you guys but um if you get cut on the left side of your body the left arm block is going to be slower um it's going to lead to more doctor stoppages so you're not just going to be able to absorb damage like you did in ufc 4 that is a thing of the past you're going to not want to get hit and which which is really going to make people be real it's going to make people be a lot more cautious with what they're doing and that's going to make for slower gameplay but it's going to make for a uh, a really authentic feeling to UFC 5. If you feel if you feel what I'm putting down, you feel what I'm putting down. So let's go ahead and watch what the damage system, how the damage system is going to work here cuz Marshall Mind did touch on it in the video. And we'll watch the full clip here with all the penalties and stuff like that and then we'll we'll go from there. This leads to an increase in the amount of damage you take on the affected side while the penalty is active. If no further impact occurs to the affected location in 30 seconds, the penalty is lifted. The penalty is also lifted at the start of a new round. Okay, so let me pause it right there because we kind of missed the section and I don't really want to go back. He's talking about if you get a cut above the eye, you get a penalty to that side for 30 seconds. As long as you don't absorb any more damage to that side, your the penalty will go away. But if your opponent starts to hit you on that same side and you keep taking damage to that same side you have the cut on, that's going to lead to a doctor stoppage. It's going to lead to the doctor coming in, reviewing your cut, and seeing if they're going to stop the fight. So very, very big thing to know. Very good thing that they touched on in this video. So that way we kind of know how to gauge the doctor stoppages heading into UFC 5 before we even touch the game. You know what I mean? So let's keep it pushing though. The breathing penalty icon appears when an athlete sustains an injury to the nose or mouth. This impact will decrease the short-term stamina recovery for as long as the penalty is active. If the athlete can protect against subsequent damage to the affected area, the penalty will be lifted in 30 seconds or at the start of a new round. The stun icons are broken down into three different icons. The head stun icon, the body stun icon, and the leg stun icon. The head stun icon appears. Okay, so we're not going to get too deep into that. But as you guys can see, not only is there going to be cuts to the head, but you're going to have body. You're going to have body stun icons as well. You're going to have breathing icons, which is going to affect your short-term stamina. This is something that we did not have in UFC 4. 
And that's going to be a real game changer for UFC 5. It really, really is. Because if you get hit in the body, it's not only going to lower your short-term stamina, but, you know, if you keep taking damage to that, they're more likely you're going to lose your long-term stamina and you're going to get finished a lot quicker in UFC 5 than you did in UFC 4. Which is very realistic because if somebody gets body shotted too many times in real life, they are easier to get finished. And it's going to affect not only your short-term stamina in striking, but it's also going to affect it in grappling, I would assume. So very, very big reason as to why this could this could be the best game UFC, or uh, EA Sports has made in the UFC franchise just in general. And the third thing, obviously, is the grappling. There was so much that was turned into the grappling, but I feel like I don't really want to... We could watch a little bit of the video in terms of the grappling, um, but I feel like, you know, this is more of like a, a play, a play and test type of thing because it's so... There's so much... Compliments, I don't, I don't want to say that. that's not even a word. So I was about to make up a word for how good UFC 5 is. This is how really good this game is. But it's so complex in terms of the grappling system that there's so many, there's so much variety in what you can do now on the ground that it's, it's really far more than we could have ever imagined UFC 5 doing. They've taken what we could have what we've said with UFC 4 and really just ran with it so much farther than what any of us could have ever imagined that it's really just a breath of fresh air heading into a brand new game, man. So that's something that if played right and it's not broken, kind of just a caution, this could all be wrong if we have a lot of tracking issues and broken stuff. But if everything works the way that it's supposed to work, UFC 5 can easily be the best game EA Sports has ever really made. So those are the three things I wanted to touch on in the video. Like always, please leave a comment in the comment section. If you guys want to debate on some of the points that I did make on this video, like in the last video, I will respond to a majority of the comments in the comment section. Voice your guys' concerns with the way that the game looks, some of the mechanics that you guys seen. Voice how great this game looks, if that's what you think, heading into UFC 5. And just let me know your overall opinion on what the game is now that you've seen the gameplay trailer. Because honestly, it's something that I think not only do the devs want to hear, but I want to hear as well. So make sure you guys drop a comment in the comment section. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. I do post MMA gaming content on this channel daily. But until the next video, guys, take it easy, be safe, enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from, and I will see you guys in the next video.